Hello everybody. Today I would like to show a video demo about modeling an organic biomimicry multi segmented model. Okay, let's start. Let's start by creating the cross section of the first unit of the multi segmented model. Let us do a bit of fine adjustment of the profile. What we're going to do next is actually to use the revolve command to create this uh, initial form. The point to take note is that when we use the deformation command, we have to set the deformable to yes so that we are able to manipulate the control points to create more organic uh, adjustments later on. Okay, see, deformable set to yes. Okay, and you might want to set the number of point counts. Okay, in this case, we'll leave it as 12. Set the revolution angle to 360. Okay, press enter. Yeah, we got the first shape. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to turn on the control points to further adjust the, the form. What I'm going to do now is to select alternate point on the row. which I will later use the proportional scaling to modify the shape further. Okay, press and hold the shift key. Click the scaling widget on the gumball. This is to give it a more uh, organic feel so that we will not be able to see like straight lines on the surface. Okay, now we can use like the select U or select B to select entire rows and to do some adjustments. In this case, uh, some proportional scaling to further refine the form. Okay, next what I'm going to do is to create multiple copies of this uh, base unit. Okay, I will use the linear array to do that. Okay, let's set the number of items to say 11. Make sure that auto is turned on so that we can get a uh, vertically aligned groups of uh, units. Okay, for the base model, I want to do some further adjustment to make it more like the the base of a plant like entity okay so I'm going to do a bit of scaling to enlarge the base further
Okay, let me hide the base so that we can work with the rest of the parts better. Now what I'm going to do is uh, merge all these parts together using Boolean Union. Okay, that's a volume. So the parts have been solidified as a single object. Now what I'm going to do is to use uh, the universal deformation tool. In this case, uh, the cage edit, set it to bounding box to create some further modification. What I'm going to do is to create the impression that uh, at the top, there's a progressive uh, reduction of the shape. Okay, we can use the scaling function to modify the, the shapes at each section. Okay, I think the first shape has been created. Okay. Now we're going to make this uh, even more organic by applying another cage edit but in this case we use the line option to modify the flow set the number of control points let's say to 9 Let's turn on the control points for the deformation line. Can adjust the point on the line to deform the shape. Depending on your computer uh, computational power, the deformation might cause a lag. The good thing about using this is that uh, we can always go back to the initial uh, cage, be it a uh, bounding box or line to make further adjustment.
let's bend this region a bit further to make it even uh, less linear looking. Take a while. Okay, I think I'm more or less done with the shape manipulation. As you can see, we have created a somewhat organic looking object in a fairly short span of time using various uh, deformation techniques. Let's merge them into one single object. Okay, we got the volume. That's great. Okay, so this is the final shape. As you can see, it didn't take much time to create something like that. Okay, we have come to the end of this video demo. Hope that's been useful to you. See you around. Bye.